Joining me now with more on today's Stop Watching Us rally and the concerns over the NSA surveillance program are Josh Levy, the Internet Campaign Director for Free Press, one of the organizers of the rally. He's here in Washington, D.C. And joining us from New York City is Ryan Morrow, a national security analyst with the Clarion Project. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. And Josh, I'd like to start with you first. Um, just describe how you feel this rally turned out today here in Washington, D.C., and what you saw and heard from average people attending this rally, not organizers, but just people who came out to, to, to protest. So first of all, we, I think all of us who helped organize this rally were uh, surprised at how many people came. Uh, they, it exceeded our expectations and at the pure energy of the event. Um, there was just a lot of emotion. Uh, there was a lot of dynamism and there was a lot of conversation about these issues that are really striking at people's uh, cores and, and uh, of who they are as Americans and, and human beings. Um, so we were really pleased with that. I think it was even more energetic and, and, and more um, uh, part of the fabric of, of our political conversation than we but expected. But what were they saying as you're walking through the crowd, snippets of conversation that you may have been hearing from folks? Sure. Uh, you know, we had a, there were a lot of chants, <laughs> um, asking everything from asking the NSA to stop surveilling them to, uh, you know, blanket res restoration of our right to speak in private. Um, people are outraged. Uh, people are outraged at the Obama administration. People are linking the Obama administration to the Bush administration and the administrations before the Bush administration. Um, and they're seeing this as a pattern uh, of power that exists in this country uh, in which uh, the rights are being taken away from regular people uh, and, and being handed over to those uh, who, are, who are running the government. And I, I think people are fed up with it. I don't I like think people are fed up with the government as much as they're fed up with this imbalance in power. Well, let me get Ryan in New York to weigh in on this. And, it, and Ryan, you know, uh, what does it say about the United States when you have uh, a lot of the European allies pretty angry this past week, and now you have all these Americans showing up today protesting as well? Well, I'm not surprised at all that so many Americans would show up to protest this, considering the exaggerated headlines that we've been hearing about regarding the Snowden revelations. If you go to the coalition website for Stop Watching Us, the very name of which implies that the NSA is watching all, everything that we do in private, they actually say the revelations about the NSA's surveillance operations, if true, represent a stunning abuse of our basic rights. And so if you're going to accuse the NSA of creating a climate of fear and of infringing upon civil liberties on all sorts of levels, then you should at least be confident in your facts. Yet you go to the protesters' website and they're even acknowledging that they don't know what the truth is. Do you agree with that? Or, I mean, it sounds like you, you have some points in common. I think that what's interesting is that, that site was developed four months ago, uh, on, on June 5th, uh, when we first found out about PRISM and we found out about the bulk metadata collection programs, uh, both of which have, are obviously still continuing. And at that time, we didn't know a lot about what was happening because there were only two revelations and, and we were surprised by them. Since then, we've had many more revelations. I would argue they have been even worse than those original ones. Um, and we're being told by Glenn Greenwald, the journalist and others, that there is even worse uh, stuff to come. So I think we're absolutely confident that uh, what we know about these programs, and there's so much that we don't know, what we know is terrifying, and it, and it represents an incredible attack on our civil liberties. What do you propose happens now? Um, Ryan, I'd like to get your opinion on this, because the NSA isn't going anywhere anytime soon. And, um, you know, I think you've mentioned before that countries have been surveilling each other for years. Right. There's always diplomatic outcry and protest when there's a revelation about one country spying on another. But there's no reasonable expectation of privacy if you're a public official. And so everyone kind of understood that if you're a world leader, no matter what country you're in, then many countries are going to be spying on you. But again, I want to emphasize that Snowden exaggerates. He said that he personally, if he had wanted to, could have hacked into President Obama's private email. He could not have actually done that. And so there are exaggerated headlines about what's going on 
one. And if there's new shocking information about what the NSA is doing, then it should be shocking enough for you to update your website so that you're not saying maybe these allegations might be true. There should be some confidence there. And I would also point out that one of the coalition members is the Council on American Islamic Relations, which is a group linked to the Muslim Brotherhood and Hamas. So they have a vested interest in blasting the NSA and in not telling the full truth about what we actually do know. Josh, I think it's so surprising because, you know, you expect countries to spy or, or you know, look at their adversaries. But when it comes to the allies, maybe it's a little more jarring. What do you make of the international blowback on all of this? Well, you know, I, I, I think I agree that the context is different when you're talking about diplomatic relations between countries. What I think is a lot uh, more of a problem is, is, is what we were protesting today, is the spying on, uh, on, on everyday people uh, that's being conducted by the United States and other countries. Um, that for me is, is, is uh, thousandfold a bigger problem because it's an attack on our democracy. It's an attack on our freedoms to, to speak, to speak, to assemble, um, and, and to, to do so in private. Um, and just talking about uh, uh, the you know, CARE and all these other groups, I think what's actually really interesting is that this is the most diverse coalition that I have ever been a part of and I, that I have ever seen. We have people from the Tea Party, we have people uh, from the far left, from the far right and elsewhere. Uh, we've all come together because we, we recognize that civil society is dependent on these freedoms. And if you take these freedoms away from us, we can't be, uh, uh, we can't participate in political speech, we, we can't organize ourselves. Um, all of these freedoms that we, I think, take for granted are going to go away. Ryan, uh, let's end with well, you. You have about 15 seconds. Last word. Sure. Being allied with an organization that links to Hamas is not something to be proud of. And he, he just said that this is a threat to political speech and the right to assembly. What did they do today? They engaged in political speech and the right to assembly. So they're not stopping that. The NSA is not just randomly spying on millions of Americans and collecting all of your private phone calls. Look for actual facts and specific data before you draw your conclusions. All right. Ryan Morrow in New York City. Josh Levy here in Washington, D.C. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for being Thanks. here.